Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to use the unit circle to find the indicated trig function that's given to us. Okay, a couple things to remember is remember that our ordered pairs for all of the points on the unit circle are always in the form x comma y. And as far as trig functions go, that means that it's cosine comma sine. So the cosine is always the x value, the sine is always the y value, and tangent is always equal to y over x. Or we could say that this is sine over cosine. Okay, I also have the reciprocal functions in here, secant, cotangent, and cosecant. Remember that secant is the reciprocal of cosine. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, and cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. So we're going to use these things to help us be able to solve these problems. All right, so the first one that we have is sine 11 pi over 6. So the first thing that we would do is remember that we always go counterclockwise. Unless it's negative, then we go clockwise. So since we have positive 11 pi over 6, we're talking about this point right here. Okay, and remember that it's cosine comma sine, so all we have to do is look at the sine, um, which is the y coordinate of this one, so it just is negative one half. Okay, because it's just the y coordinate of that point, and that's it. So let's move on to the next one. So our next one that we have is negative five pi over six. So with this one, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna count by one sixth. Um, going clockwise because we're not going to find pi, negative 5 pi over 6 on the unit circle. So if we go here, this would be 1 sixth, 2 sixths, 3 sixths, 4 sixths, and 5 sixths this way. So it's going to correspond to this value here. So this is the same thing as cosine of 7 pi over 6 if we make it positive. Okay, and then we're going to look at the coordinate. Remember that cosine is our x coordinate, so we're just going to look at our x coordinate on this one, which is the negative square root of three over two. All right, so those are the easy ones to find because you don't have to do anything else with them. You're just looking at your ordered pair. So now we're gonna get into either reciprocal functions or tangent functions where you have to write them in terms of something else. Um, so this one, what we're going to do is secant 3 pi over 4. So we're going to find 3 pi over 4, which is here. Okay, remember that secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So that's telling us that it's going to be 1 over our x coordinate. Or we could look at the x coordinate that is listed here, which is the negative square root of 2 over 2 and we can just flip it upside down. So basically what's going to happen is we're just going to do the reciprocal of this right here, which means that the numerator and the denominator flip. So this would really be negative two over the square root of two. And remember that in math, it's not okay to leave a radical in the denominator, so we're going to rationalize the denominator by multiplying by the square root of two over square root of two. So on the top, we're left with negative two square root of two, over two on the bottom because of the fact that square root of two times square root of two is square root of four and the square root of four is two. Now we can simplify this a little bit further because the twos on the outside will cancel out. So we are left with the negative square root of two as our final answer. So remember that secant, we are going to be looking at cosine, which is our x coordinate, and we're just going to find the reciprocal of it, okay? Tangent, moving into tangent now. Let me find a different color that I haven't used. We'll use purple. Okay, so tangent of pi, we're gonna come over here to pi. And we have negative one comma zero. So remember that tangent is the sine over the cosine or y over x. So we would just put the zero, which is our y over negative one, which ends up being zero. Had it been reversed, had we were looking for the tangent of say this one down here, it would be undefined because you cannot have zero in the denominator. Okay, cotangent. Cotangent negative pi over six. We're going to go this way and we're just gonna to go to one, which is gonna put us back at this point right here. We've already used this one. So this is the same thing as cotangent of 11 pi over six. 
And remember that cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. So instead of being y over x, we're going to flip this and do x over y. Okay, so if we look at this, our x coordinate is square root of 3 over 2. And our y coordinate is negative 1 half. So if I simplify this by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by 2, so if I multiply this top part by 2 and this by 2, essentially I'm multiplying by 1. That will just cancel out my two denominators. And I'm left with the square root of 3 divided by negative 1, which is just the negative square root of 3. So the cotangent of negative pi over 6 is negative square root of 3. I will show you in another video how to plug all of these into your calculator to get approximations, but if you need exact values, then you do have to use the unit circle. All right, and then our last one that we are going to do is we are going to find the cosecant of 5 pi over 6. Okay, so we're going to come over here to 5 pi over 6. And remember that cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So for this one, we're going to do 1 over our y coordinate. So if we look at this, our y coordinate is 1 half. So we would do 1 over 1 half, or you could just simply find the reciprocal of 1 half and flip it around, and this just ends up being 2. Okay, so hopefully with this, I showed you how to do several of these and they help you to understand how to do it. Um, any one of the radian measurements could be used. They could also give it to you in terms of the degree measures and you would do the same thing. Um, if you are entering things into your calculator, make sure that you know whether you're in radians or degrees. And like I said, I will address that in another video. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.